I have a criticism. Her hair is a little sparse right back here. You see that? Hello, my lovelies, Lady Shar. And today we are going to open brand new. I just got her today. We're going to be opening with Gabriella Isley. One of the new series three Rainbow High Dolls. So I apologize, I did film opening my BTS dolls and turns out the sound didn't work. So there's no sound. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. I might just film a, here they are, what I think of them and just do it like that. But yeah, none of the sound worked, it sucked. I also, uh, what was shown off in that video was, I don't think I'm gonna open them, but I did get my Beetlejuice Monster High Dolls. Aren't they amazing? I think they will probably stay in the box as is. But they did come and they are lovely. I also have uh, Miss Evie, the purple goth girl. Uh, stage three. And I may have gotten myself a Christmas present that will I won't be opening till Christmas, but I got the giant doll. So if anyone, by the time this goes up, Target won't be having a sale. Target is having a sale. And we were able to get it for, basically got this one free and that one for 75 bucks. So given that it's $100 on Amazon, that is actually a very good deal. All right, so Miss Gabrielle Isley is a lovely, like, sky blue, ice blue color that is absolutely gorgeous. And it doesn't have a quote on the back. It just has the artwork that we all know and love. She does come with an extra outfit and extra shoes like normal. Uh, she was 27, but again, because of things, I basically got her free. And her, her outfits are just gorgeous. This sweater, as a knitter, I appreciate this cable knit sweater. <laughs> I am working on my, well, it's not cable knit, but it's, I'm making my own sweater right now. So let's open her up. Okay. So yeah, unfortunately, I feel real bad about that. It, it sucked when you go back to look at it when you get ready to edit and nope, no sound. So I think my mic died out of power. So that was an unfortunate thing, but no worries, it happens. I have a little stand. And she comes with hangers, which I eventually will have a place to hang up your clothes. I say, uh, optimistically. I absolutely, th these, the skirt hangers are amazing. Like, look at this. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Skirt hanger and a regular hanger. And uh, the top to the, come on. Stand. It's absolutely awesome. All right, put stand together. Ooh, she doesn't have gel. Can I tell? I might as well snip out her comb. They all come with a comb. Just a little plastic comb. The fact that she has curls with no gel. I love. They had promised that apparently for these and they have delivered. Snip snip here. Woo! All right. Oh man. You're absolutely gorgeous, girl. You might become my favorite. Rainbow high. I have. Oh man. All right. Oh, she might become my favorite. Oh my gosh, look at her. 
she has cute little barrettes in her hair hair is is very soft it's not crunchy at all but still has some curl I absolutely love come on there we go her, this cable sweater like I appreciate this on levels <laughs> I appreciate this as a knit as a knitter cute little quilt, cute little kind of pleather shiny skirt and she's got this belt that says rainbow and then we have these awesome heels articulated knee hinge ball joint and she bends everywhere except the waist um, she bends at the hips hips rotate so mostly fully articulated now the bit height is that I got the big doll and she's amazing look at these eyes I love blue eyeshadow so this is like gorgeous let's put her in her stand and see what her second outfit I'm not gonna put her in right now I usually try to keep them in the originals at least until I have a place to put clothes um and play around and all that. They really don't right now. Um, my husband's supposed to put me a bookcase right here, so we'll see. Because I need it for all my journaling stuff. And then I can also put dolls on it too. And her second outfit, I'm going to leave it on thing, is this kind of snakeskin blue, light blue jacket over a, um, like a shift dress that is silvery with a bunch of R's on it and then like ties ruched and tied at the sides with a belt with a working belt buckle I'm not going to try to get this on there her other set of shoes is pretty standard now I do miss the little boxes I love it when they give us those little boxes plastic oh these don't actually have uh r's and h's they have an r they have r's on the front but they have kind of like a crystal so clear heel on the back so that is her second outfit i'm leaving her in this lovely sweater i love this sweater i would wear this sweater i would knit this sweater well except for maybe the collar i am not a big turtleneck person but i would knit the rest of this so yes, this is Miss Gabriella Isley, my first Series 3 doll. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. She's got the, a bit of a sheen to her face. It's not too heavy, and her makeup is gorgeous. Rooted eyelashes, as always. And just... Now, see, the snake skin on the boots matches the snake skin on the other jacket. So it's almost like they should have swapped shoes, but I get I get why they went because yeah, that's definitely the same. Ooh, in, in frame, can it be in frame? The same print. Huh. They're still fabulous boots. I think she might be my favorite right now. It's gonna be hard to beat her for me. I love little. Barrettes, though I can see why those would be easily lost if this is if this is for a child but and her hair okay I do have a criticism her hair is a little sparse right back here you see that I think that's my only criticism is she's got a bit of a bald spot right here I don't know if I just got one because the other side the other side looks fine but yeah she's got a bit of a bald spot right there I don't know if I got one that just didn't get enough hair put in it's missing the whole of the holes didn't get pop punched right so it didn't get rooted right um because it's literally missing holes there which are on the other side so that might just be a production error 
rather than a and all the dolls. I'd have to go look and see if anyone else is having that problem. But she definitely has a bald spot. It can be pretty well covered up, mostly, um, with her hair. Her hair is, I love the no gel. Her hair is gorgeous, so I can't, she's gonna, that's in the back, so, and she's not gonna get played with, so. It won't show when she's on the shelf, let's put it that way. But yeah, she does have a bald spot. So that is, I guess, is my one criticism of this doll. I love, I'm still in love with the sweater. I'm still in love with her makeup and how she looks and the color is absolutely gorgeous. So I think that's it for Miss uh, Gabriella. I love her, except for the bald spot. <laughs> Maybe I love her bald spot and all. Anyway, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to get back on track with my editing. We will see. But yeah, this is first of my first series three. I have one more that I've already gotten. I'm probably gonna wait till the other ones drop the price a little bit. Um, get them when they go on sale. Because budget and Christmas coming up, so. But yeah, I got, I'm so happy I got my big, the big girl. Even if I can't open her until December. Cause yeah, I need to trim down. I can still feel her stick to the little, Dude, yeah, that was, it is sticking out of her head. Let's see if I can do this without cutting hair. There we go. Yeah, little sparse on the, on the hit rooting on her in places. It's unfortunate. Because otherwise she's amazing. Hopefully the other ones aren't like that. Anyway, I haven't noticed any shedding, so that's good. So let me wrap this up. I'm babbling again. Say bye. Say like and subscribe. Oh, let's put her hair like that. Yay. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Stay safe.